What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, got a little bit different video for you today. Uh, this one's gonna be sponsored by Xcool. Uh, it's electric precision screwdriver set. Uh, they asked me for a while now to do a review on it and give my honest opinion. Uh, there will be affiliate links in the bottom. You can find it at Cool Gadgets, you can find it on Amazon, you can find it on Timu. Will it work for what I have here in the shop? I don't know, we'll find out, but let's jump in and see what the specs are on this thing. And uh, like I said, I'll drop some affiliate links below. Again guys, this video is brought to you by Xcool. Uh, it's electric precision screwdriver set uh, the list of items here is electric precision screwdriver you get one of those precision drill bits you get nine of those power cable one flat tweezers one uh, screw bits by 39 of those different ones probably user manual pry bar as far as the parameters go it looks pretty decent for being uh, an aftermarket product materials uh, is built out of aluminum alloy steel and ABS the power supply is 3.6 volts uh, rotational speed is 400 RPMs. Torque in electric mode is 0.1 through 0.3 Newton meters at five levels. Torque in manual mode is three Newton meters. The charging port is type C, so that's awesome. That can be pretty universal. Uh, the battery is a 350 milliamp hour lithium battery. Charging voltage is uh, five volts DC or DC five volts. Charging current is 0.15 amps and charging time is 150 through 180 minutes. Uh, this is going to be a model EPD11. Uh, all the info is there. Like I said, you can find it on Amazon, Timu, xcool.com, Cool Gadgets, uh, and a few other places like that. So let's open this box up and let's see what we have inside. All right, I got my blade here. Let's open this box up. It looks like it's packaged pretty decently. It's got nice cellophane around it. Uh, as long as I don't cut the box all the pieces first. Kind of hard to do from behind the camera, but let's see what we got here. Like I said, will it work for what I have in the shop? I don't know. It may work on some of the smaller electronic items in some of these UTVs. We'll find that out. So here, I'm gonna guess it's probably the screwdriver, possibly. I shouldn't say that without actually opening it and see what's inside. Oh, nope, that's your little pry bar. Your little pry bar here. It's kind of nice. It's Feels pretty sturdy. Set of tweezers. I don't know what I would use these for. Maybe holding something, I don't know, but definitely it'd probably work on, like I said, your smaller electronic stuff like computers and laptops, or laptops and <laughs> computers, uh, phones and things like that. Let's open this up. This should be the whole set here. Try to get it out. So again, X cool. Seems like a nice little solid case. Oh, look at that. You got the charging port on the outside of the case. So it's got to be put in the case to charge this thing. Um, how does this open or work? I have no idea. Oh, okay, so you that's pretty interesting. Push this little guy there. You see that? Pops right out. So everything is stored inside this aluminum case. Uh, there is a spring in there on the back side. Here is the screwdriver set and pre precision bit set. Uh, got some small drill bits. Let's see, a 0 0.3, 2, 0.25, 0 0.16, so on and so forth. Looks like some small Phillips. It doesn't give you the number here, but what I could tell on the Phillips, I'm half blind, so it's gonna be hard to see. Let's move some light in here. So you got a Y point, a Y1.0, a Y.06. Phillips two, Phillips double zero, Phillips triple zero, and a Phillips quadruple zero, which is four. Um, and a few other ones, I won't know the name of some of these, honestly, um, but it definitely says, that shows a magnet, no magnet, not sure what all that's gonna be or do. Here is the screwdriver in itself. So you can see what's going on here backwards, forwards. Sorry guys, got a phone call in the middle of that. Again, make sure you guys read your instruction manual first before you get into this thing. I forgot to mention that a second ago, but check this out. It's a nice little solid construction here. You do have a couple different chucks. Um, this one, you can see it shows like a little drill on there. Hopefully you can see that. I got the plastic flying around. So basically what you do, that would be for this set here of the drills. Now there is another one here 
when you do take it out, it, it is semi-magnetized up, up here on the case. When you do take it out, you do have to take out the chuck also. And this particular one, this chuck, will go in along, and this will, if you look, you can see the little sign there for all your bits. This one will house all your bits and not just your, uh, uh, not, not your uh, drills. So, if I can get this thing to go back in right, there we go. So you also have the option of magnetizing and demagnetizing your bits. So right here, basically there's a little little uh, mag magnet there and you would do, you just take that and you would go back and forth with your bit and that'll magnetize it. Now you cannot, do, do not do it while it's in the screwdriver. The screwdriver itself also has a, has a magnet so that'll mess it up. So make sure you take the bit out of the screwdriver itself and then you do it on here. And you also can demagnetize it by going over here and you just kind of do what the arrows kind of show you to do of how to get it demagnetized. You just rub it back and forth. That way all your bits work. So again, you know, the charging case, it just slides back inside like so. And you push it together and it's a done deal. Um, also, this has different settings. So on top you have a function button, but right now we'll show you we're set right now It'll show you like a drill and it's on number one. Battery is fully charged. So when you push this, it shows directional rotation and it shows that, that it's going in. If you hold back, it'll show it's coming out and the directional rotation also. Uh, so on the lowest setting on number one, on the bit one is 0 0.05 Newton meters. And on the drill setting, I think they said it's 0 0.5 Newton meters. Uh, on the drill setting. So to change all that, there's a function button up top. We'll push it once and that will actually turn on a precision light down here. So you can see the light. So that turns that on. You push it again, turns it off, push it on, on, and it returns back to the screen in about three seconds. So to get through your settings now, you hold this down and that settings will pop up. One, and you push it once to go to two, push it again, three, four, and to your drill setting. Whatever works for you, you can either push the button to get out of it, or three seconds later, it'll go back to the main menu screen. Um, and again, this guy here, you gotta make sure it's in a certain direction. You can see the direction has an arrow telling you where to put that, so all the connectors are in there, so you put it in there, and you snap it into place. If I can get it in myself, nose in first, it has a little hole, goes in, it's there. And then we'll make sure all our bits are in and then we'll slide it back in the charging case. I think I might have the uh, one bit in backwards. I got this guy all discombobulated. So, and like you said, you can see it's, a mag the, it's magnetized, magnetic, magnetized, it's magnetic. So yeah, you gotta put this back in there that direction, that way it sits nice and flush down in there. I had that the wrong way. But anyways, so we'll go ahead and slide this back in. Well, I guess I could show you the rest of them on the back side. I didn't even think about that. I forgot about all the ones on the back side here. I'm sitting here talking about sliding it back in. Uh, more drills, um, more stuff, all that wonderful bits. Um, you can see you got your like little star bits. And like I said, it's all labeled on here. Um, I don't know a whole bunch about this. I have not used this. Will it work for what I have in the shop? I don't know, um, but we can always uh, do a demo. So we'll go ahead and slap that back in. And did I, I don't think I saw a charging cord with it. Oh, there it is. So there's a charging cord with it, USB-C. So let's go over here to my little charging area for all my stuff. Um, and we'll grab, what does it say? It's a uh, USB-C, there's one for my, mics and we'll plug that in and as it charges you'll see the lights here will be flashing it'll show you where it's charged at right now it's 75 percent 25 50 75 and 100 percent charge that'll charge this box in a battery internal battery on there and which that'll charge the uh screwdriver so that'll charge the screwdriver internal battery there so you got to plug that in to charge your screwdriver there's no battery inside of this the battery's inside the screwdriver and again, you got all those bits, all these lovely bits, and a nice case so they don't ever fall out. Push it in, nice and secure. Push the button, pops back out. So, 
Again, guys, this is brought to you by X-Cool Precision Screwdriver Set. I'll drop some affiliate links down below for Amazon uh, and xcool.com. And like I said, you can look it up on uh, Cool Gadgets. I think it's also available on Timu from what I've seen. But I'll provide you guys some more feedback in the future. Like I said, I haven't used it. Will it work for what I have in the shop? Very few things. It might work well on taking like... Uh, I don't know, a relay housing apart that holds all the relays or something like that. Uh, but I think this is gonna be more for you guys and gals who like to uh, work with phones, computers, uh, laptops, um, small electronics. It might be good for like the little silly stuff my wife gets from like the thrift stores, from toys that are broken, take it apart. Um, Xboxes, Xbox controllers, uh, all that cool stuff, man. I think this goes for about anywhere from 40 to $60 depending on the set. Double check on Amazon, like I said. I'll drop affiliate links below. I know it's a little bit of a different video than what you guys are used to. I'll try to get back on posting more content sooner than later. Lots of travel right now at race season. Again, guys, X-Cool is the name of this electric precision screwdriver set. If you guys haven't subbed, please sub. Drop some comments, tell me what you think about this. It's my first time doing a collab with a company, so it's gonna be a little different. Uh, and like I said, I'll, I'll leave a review later on when I do find some good uses for this around my shop or even inside the house. Uh, again, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Sub, drop some comments, leave some likes. You can find me here on YouTube, TikTok at Limitless Power Sports Service Repair, Facebook at Limitless Power Sports Service Repair. Also, you can email me at Limitless Power Sports 78 Gmail for any questions about motorcycles, ATVs, or UTVs, or any questions about uh, stuff you guys see in the videos. Again, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on my next upload.